All right, let's put that around and that's it. So how, did we get it? how did we do this before? Justin, what's my mark? Um, yeah, that'll work. Nice shot of the crotch. Um, it's fine. I'm wearing sexless sweatpants. No one knows. Oh, good morning. It is in the morning. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what time it is. I think my clock will probably tell me. Your living room is like a casino. I don't think you have a clock. <laughs> None of my business. Let's have a little tea. Oh, so, I talked to my friend Gus, uh, Bible buddy Gus determinist Gus about um, my seminary issue <clears throat> not an issue just you know, should I should I take the seminary up on their lovely offer of what sounds like could be a very generous scholarship to finish my studies here's what I was worried about we were worried that I was taking money from someone more deserving I am a very white cisgendered guy and I'm gonna be fine but we're not super you know you've seen my house we're not anyway I didn't know like would it be gross would I be opportunistic am I just like a I don't know like I've got all the wrong kind of guilt uh for privilege <laughs> that paralyzes a person <clears throat> so Gus said, here's how Gus, Gus broke it up. Gus also, by, by the way, uh, is a, he went to seminary in Texas for a different denomination. So I'm going to a Methodist one. Thank you again so much, by the way, for that. Stained glass piece. It brings me so much joy every day. Just every day I look at it. It's beautiful. It's super thoughtful of you. Like every, every part of it just, it's one of my favorite gifts that I've ever received. So thank you for... Thank you for that. God damn, that's good tea. Yeah. Um, who was I? So Gus is a graduate, so he kind of, it's not like I talked to some random guy who gave me this advice. This is from someone who's been through this process. So the first thing he said to me is, uh, you're gay and they want you, which is true. Be well, yeah, of course, people, you've seen me, I'm a hottie. People, uh, the Methodist Church, as you know, is splitting apart over uh, LGBTQ, the big tiqua. They summoned a Lovecraftian demon. They would like people like me uh, at the seminary because I'm like one of, this is me saying this, not, not Gus, but, you know, I become, in a sense, one of those, remember those uh, yellow placards people could put in their doors or windows that said safe home so if kids were feeling uneasy they could go knock on that door and a, like a, a safe adult live there did they check I don't know I would like you know what I'd like to see I'd like to see the percentage of safe home houses near that Sears where Adam Walsh was <coughs> I don't know I mean anyway so I, <laughs> I'm like that but the good kind in that if um, if they let me stay, that's not what I wanted to say at all. Uh, if I come back, you know, they can use me in their promotional material and all this such. So, on the, so the first thing Gus said is, it's not entirely altruistic on their part, which is not a bad thing. Not like they're sitting there rubbing their hands together and being evil. But, you know, it's not, this is not like genuine just here's for you. They're, they're, they get something out of it as well. The other thing that Gus pointed out to me is I it actually doesn't cost them anything to give me that money because I don't use any other resources. Like I'm a really I'm a cheap I'm a cheap I'm a cheap student in that I I'm, I'm pretty competent. I don't use a lot of the school's resources. I don't use um, like I didn't use the writing center. I don't go to the library a lot. I don't think I went to the library at all while I was there. That library is intimidating. I didn't understand it. They get to pray. And so I I don't use a lot. 
I'm use, really you're only using uh, classroom time and I'm a benefit in the classroom. So Gus is just saying, don't think of it as you taking anything. They're literally saying there's space for people like you. How much do you want to take up? So I think, I think, I'm going to think about it a little bit more. But I think what I'm going to say is I would love to finish my uh, schooling at Wesley and tell them sort of what I told you. Well, no, here's what, I, here's what I want to tell them. Are we destitute? We are not. We're about to redo our home. We're about to redo our home with money that we don't have. We had to borrow that money from our house. Um, our house has more money than we have. So it's not like we have, we're flush with cash. And it's not like we don't live paycheck to paycheck still. Just some things are taken care of and some things are not. So I really need to think to myself, is this, um, is this a wise use of resources? The cheaper it is, the, the wiser it seems to me. Um, like if I can, why don't, just give me a full ride. I'm not gonna, I don't know. I don't know. So that's what I'm struggling with. Now that I no longer feel like I have to deal with any um, sh uh, worry, going to say shame uh, uh, any worry about taking this money since i don't have to worry about that anymore well that's not my primary worry let's go see is philippe um no he has not learned i've opened the window again so he can have oh he's let's go see where philippe is just in there eating. Good. Um, there we go. I don't know. So that was my yesterday slash today. Just thinking about that. Um, all right. Oh, well, you probably... <laughs> what if the whole video was just me? I didn't even show you your cat. What if that was me? Okay, let's do that. Here we go. Some, the song that I sang for him this morning as I came in that he did not enjoy was Philippe Navidad. Philippe Navidad. Oh, you see, he can't even bear to be. He's hidden himself away. He's gone where I can no longer find him. Okay, oh yeah, let's get him take a look at that. I'm giving myself a tour of your house. So as we talked about yesterday, I love this. That's a good setup. What's going on over here, hacker? Oh, look at you. What are you, running NASDAQ? From your home? How can you afford to be gone so long? Is that why we are in an economic slump? Probably. Oh, oh. There he is. I found you, Sasquatch. Oh, he thinks he can go that way? Huh. Has he met American ingenuity? I don't think he has. Kapow! Okay, so he's not there at all. Well, that would have worked really well if I'd come this way and he had seen me. Um, you'll fix that in post, right? That's something you can do. Oh, wait. Here he comes. He's about to get up on his table. Oh, he's been training for years for this. You know, he left his family back in Iowa. Oh, gorgeous. Just absolute perfection. Philippe. Yeah. I don't have the right kind of tolerance for anxiety to let you out. Philippe, I'm sorry. All right. It's me again. Let's come back down. Uh, anything else on the agenda? What about this? <laughs> I know <laughs> uh, this morning I just, this is what I, what I wore to sleep in. It's fine. And I, um, just got up and 
rolled out of bed onto my bike out here. I've been wearing, um, I've been wearing si things that are sized smaller for me, like, or correctly sized. Like this is a 2XL and a 2XL just looks like a moo moo on me at this point. And that's, it's sort of, I hadn't realized how much extra fabric sort of hangs off of a 2XL. Uh, yesterday, leaving your neighborhood, cruised by so many guys. Uh, today, leaving your neighborhood, zero guys. Today, leaving your neighborhood, haven't left yet. Like today, zero. Also, by the way, it's six in the morning, so their hot guys are not up yet. But when they get up, and I, they're going to think, I bet he's wearing a diaper. That's the first thing they're going to say. They're going to say, look at all that extra fabric around him. That's a diaper person. That's a person who is absolutely wearing an adult diaper. And then I would make, um, this is the sound I would make as I walked. Oh, actually, holy work, Mike. I was, that was me jogging. Um, it was not me jogging. All right, my friend. Oh, God, this video is very long. You should not watch it, but I'm going to upload it to YouTube anyway, because I don't know how else to send you files. Um... Yeah, or, you know, the other idea that I absolutely won't consider is to not talk so much. Yeah. All right. Uh, talk to you later.